next one we're going to go to is uh, still from Mike McGrath, and he's talking about MK Dons won Troy Parrott on loan from Tottenham Hotspur this summer. Um, did Troy play, play last night? Did he come on? He did. He How came he? on. He came on for about uh, uh, twenty minutes or so, fifteen twenty minutes. Didn't make much of an impact, to be honest. Um, Dane Scarlett was on for a short amount of time and did more on the pitch than uh, Troy Parrott did. Um, uh, I think again, MK Dons would be a good move for him. Well, they championship side, aren't the championship or League no, One? League One. I League think One. They are. Um, so either way, I think um, another move is definitely in the offing for Troy Parrott because he had two. Um, he had two uh, moves uh, last season uh, to Millwall and Ipswich, both of them um, not doing great. So I think at the moment he needs to get find a home and find a place where he can build his confidence and um, build up his uh, playing style and, you know, toughen up a bit. That's how, I, that's how I feel about Troy. He just hasn't quite done it on his loan moves just yet. So he needs another one. And MK Dons would be a good one. Because from, judging from yesterday, they actually played quite decent football. So maybe that could work in his favour. In terms of Troy Parrott, um, the best I've actually seen him was in that um, cameo that he came on against Colchester. I thought he looked quite impressive in that game. And that's probably uh, the most excited I've seen him or the most excited I've been uh, seeing him. Um, it's a bit unfortunate for you saying, because obviously I didn't watch the game last night, mm. but it's unfortunate saying last night I thought he would have uh, produced more um, against an MK Dons. But yeah, I think you're absolutely spot on. He needs a loan in League One. He needs to start week in, week out um, and see where we go. But I don't know if he's um, an out-and-out striker that we thought he would be. I think he might be playing more off the right-hand side or something like that. Yeah, I mean, they, that's that's how they play on the left-hand side and in, and in behind the striker. That's where he's been playing for Millwall and um, Ipswich. So maybe it's a case of because he's so young, you know, 80, 19 years of age, he doesn't quite have the characteristics yet to be playing up front on his own in a against um, defenders like in the championship who are not going to take any prisoners you know what I mean they're going to go in hard and they're going to um, and then they're going to show no mercy when going to the challenge and that's tough for a teenager to deal with that you know when you're not tough enough yet or you haven't um, grown into yourself so maybe that's why um, they've put him on the wing for the time being and he might be he might be more comfortable there against fullbacks and stuff or who he can maybe get a bit more space against he doesn't have to battle physically against them so that's probably why at the moment he's being played there but you know um, when uh, when he was playing in the youth level and he was playing um, for Spurs you know in a few cameos he was always playing up front so I think mm -hmm. that's how he sees himself and that's how Spurs see him I just think maybe the championship at the moment it's tough for him to be playing, especially if he's up front on his own. It's very tough for a teenager to do that role, I think. Does it prove um, how good Dane Scarlett actually is, how, how he's outshining Troy Parrott? Because after everything that you just said, you know, um, uh, Dane Scarlett can go up front, lead the line and look absolutely at home there at 17. Yeah, but to be fair, Parrott and Friendlies did as well. Are you, um, I don't uh, think to that extent, the, the extent that Dane Scarlett can. Maybe not to that extent, but I remember the old games in in friendlies. I remember against Juventus, he played very well, and like he and um, and I remember he looked at home. I was thinking, oh, this guy looks really, really good. So, I think friendlies are very hard to judge. What I'd say about Scarlett is he hasn't just done it in friendlies. He's looked decent um, in cameos in Europa League as well, and 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 um, and cup games. So, I guess there's a point there. Um, but it's a, you know if you put Scarlett up front in the championship up front on his own is he going to have a similar problem to Troy? I mean you know it's it's very difficult to know the because because it's it's just different it's a different uh, game when you're playing in a proper competitive game against center, big strong centre backs in the championship it's just a completely different game than playing in friendly so as much as Scarlett is impressing and I'm loving what I'm seeing with Scarlett it doesn't mean to say, say he's ready just uh, just yet as well he could experience very similar problems to Para if he were to move to on loan um, to a to a lower league side. Yeah!